Another way we can describe form is with value. So as the great Steve Houston says, if you change the value, you also change the plane and vice versa. If you want to describe a different plane, you want to use a different value, different value, different plane. That's one of Steve Houston's laws of light. And basically what that states is when you shine a light in a form, you create light and shadow side, which in planes are how artists is a theoretical way that artists flatten organic form. So if we want to show, for example, the plane change or the boxy form of a face, especially a face that is boxy, like a masculine face, a bony face, we can use light and shadow or lighter values to describe which planes are closer to the light and which planes are starting to turn away from the light or being blocked by the light completely, which helps us suggest form. So that is form description with value. And before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my free insiders email list where you'll get access to live classes like this along with other free lessons, free videos, free content. You also get discounts on courses, programs. You get first access to upcoming premium classes, other private live streams like this. So all you have to do is go to www.drawwoodchris.com and there you can enter your email and you'll be a part of the insider's email list. You can also go to downloads and see some of the free content and lessons available. I have figure drawing, head drawing, color. You can even access the private Discord community. So go to drawwoodchris.com and there you can enter your email and you'll be all set. You'll be good to go. And the artist we're going to look at is Solomon J. Solomon, British painter, 19th century again. Not very well known, but uh, in my mind, absolutely uh, brilliant artist, historically great in my opinion, and just absolutely stunning realism, stunning form. We can look at this, I believe it's a self-portrait over here. And I know it's a painting, but we can imagine and value. In fact, let, let me turn down the value. So um, on the right here, we have the tonal, quick tonal filter, and you can just see the absolutely stunning box modeling. What stands out first to me is the darkness of the eye socket compared to the brightness of the front plane of the face, the front side of the forehead, the, the top plane of the cheek, front plane of the cheek and the nose. Notice how the contrast of the eye, first of all, it's just beautiful contrast. So you, you look at it as a 2D graphic image, but as for description, notice how the forehead and the top plane of the eye socket feels above. And notice how the socket feels like it's going inward into space. So the lights coming forward, lights and light halftones coming forward, the shadow, boom, going back into space. And of course, notice the cheek. You can see the front plane of the cheek. And then the beautiful subtle value change as it turns downward. Notice the value change. It's very clear and obvious, right? It feels like, oh, okay, this side of this boxy form is receiving light. This side is receiving light, but not as much. Oh, okay, I get it. That is a corner. That's a plane. Your brain, even if you're a layperson, a layperson is someone who's a non-artist, who's not directly involved in your field, can look at this and go, oh, oh okay, this is the side of the face. Oh, I, I know. I, I, I see that in the mirror every day. This is the side of the face. That is incredible. And what makes that work is the value. Why? Because this is light, the cheek, front plane. This is darker, but not as dark as the eye socket, the hair, the background, dark accent around the face, cash out of the nose, for example. So as your eyes look at all the values together in this zone and they're like, okay, hmm, this is really bright. This is darker. Oh, but this is really dark. Oh, I get it. You're describing some kind of form to me. I get it because this is dark. Oh, but this gets really dark. Oh, okay. So that's, that's another turn. And oh, okay. Because, oh, this zone is really dark. Oh, I, I get it. What you're saying is this zone is really far back in the space or receives no light. Oh, okay. I get it. I see what you're trying to say. So because you have this thing, this dark mass, this dark mass, this dark mass here, it creates a cohesive value picture that your mind assembles and you're not aware of it. Your mind's like a supercomputer. 
it does these things automatically. It's encoded in your genetic DNA, actually. The ability to recognize value is encoded in you. So you do it automatically. So boom, 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 or boom, boom, mm, boom. That is wonderful. So that's just a brilliant example. And of course, in drawing, you can see the same thing. Notice how much this head, there's, it's not super detailed. It's not hyper rendered. It's not as detailed as the painting. It's not as detailed as a bard drawing or a classical academic drawing and graphite or charcoal or whatever. Lots of suggestion happening here. It feels to me like a, both a cylinder and an egg. I feel light from the right. Do you guys feel that? Light from the right. And then it gets darker, 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 dark. Darker, 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 dark. You see how it rolls across the face. That is value control, my friends. Light, light, darker, light, a little bit darker, whoop, darker, up, darker again, and then dark. One, two, three, four, five steps across. Boom, 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 boom. Same with the cheek. Boom, 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 up, boom, oh. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so there's some undulation happening here, but you can feel that. And you can also feel the spherical nature because this is really bright. This is bright, but not so bright. This is bright, but not as bright. So what you're suggesting, just by controlling the value of your highlight, you're just saying, oh, this thing is closer to the light than this thing. Therefore, it must be an egg or receives more light than this thing. You see that turn downwards? Same here. It's turning to the left and then down, to the left and down. That's good value control. Darker, light, high light, a little darker, up, darker, up, darker, boom, dark, 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 under the chin. You see that? That is spherical. And of course, the boxy quality of the eyebrow. Light, shadow, boom. That is the ticket, my friends. Let's take a look at the painting in detail here. Let's do a study. Okay, got my little shapes drawn in. Now what I want to do is uh, just do a quick value block in to examine Solomon J. Solomon's brilliance here and to see if we can learn from this master's value control here. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the first thing that pops out to me is the big mass of the eye. We're just going to do a quick study of uh, the head here. No detail, just kind of a value abstraction here. So let's stop and take a look. Actually, let me fill in this eye, and then we'll stop and take a look. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. And let me do one more thing, and then this will really sell the illusion. Are you ready? Okay, let's just quickly take a look at the dark masses that I put here. Comment below. What do you see so far on my drawing? Try to ignore my line, line work underneath. In fact, let me erase that. Let me get rid of that. Okay. All right, here we go. So comment below. What do you see? What is, well, we, we, we know what, what it is, but just look at the image on the right. Try, try to ignore the, the original masterwork. What do you see? What do you see on the right? What do you see? Comment below. I don't know about you, but I see a face. I see an eye, an eye, and a nose. You see that? And what is cool, I don't know if you guys see it. I do. I know you do. Don't you feel the plain change? Don't you feel like, oh, this part right here, right here, the light part, is above this part is beneath or changes direction in some way you see it it's like okay this is the top side of a box this is the underside you see that same here on the left corner that my friends is what i am talking about well that's both shape design but it's also value control so you notice that 
already we are winning. Already we, we, we are winning already just by having a good separation of dark value, and this is light half tone, the value of the paper here in this case, good separation of your dark mass to whatever's around it, you can already get form, a tiny bit of form description already. That is the ticket, my friends. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to put the dark mass. Actually, the whole background is a dark mass. That is not an accident. He wanted that glowy highlight effect, and he wanted you to feel form of his head, the head he's drawing. I mean, it's, it's his, it's a self-portrait, it's his own head, but of the head. That is value to describe forms. Or in this case, uh, draw attention to something for sure. Background itself is, is more of a compositional element, not so much form. The hair is. The hair has form. But um, it's a topic for another day. Now let's get to the side of the box, starting with the ear. The ear has a, a bit of a dark accent as well. Starting with the cheek. That cheek is absolute money. You can learn everything you need about head drawing or painting just by copying this head. This head is absolutely genius. in terms of value control. Uh, what I'm doing here is going to be a little bit brighter. There should be a slightly darker dark halftone because right now I'm in the halftone zone. So the paper I'm using has a tone, has a value, and it's really very close to the value of the face in light. So that is a choice that I made on my canvas to work on a toned canvas. But of course, if you're working on white canvas, all you have to do is put, put some tone down <laughs> and uh, you'll be fine. This drawing is quite sophisticated and nuanced. The more I look at it, I'm just like amazed how sophisticated this drawing is. It's, this drawing is no joke. Oh, there's subtleties, there's ins and outs, there's subtle suggestions. Okay, notice already we can feel the box. At least the cheek, not so much the forehead, but at least the cheek. You feel, oh, there's a thing blocking light. You feel the this, mu well, it's, it's a mustache, but you see, oh, this is the thing. There's a thing blocking light here. Ah, oh, that's cool. And then you feel, oh, there's some form that's receiving some light down here. That must be the chin. I mean, we know it's the chin, but uh, even a layperson will be like, oh, okay, I, I, I understand these shapes and the value you're using, artist person. I, I, I get you. I feel it. Layperson will feel this face already. Will feel form already. Will feel light facing, not light facing. Light facing, really hidden from the light for sure. Boom, 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 boom. And if this, notice how this eye socket starts to feel deeper than this thing, than the side plane of the face. And we can keep going. We can do one last touch right here. Boom. So already I'm starting to turn the eye, the corner of the eye as it transitions into the side of the face. You see that? Wow. We need one more, one more step, one more value, which, which we will get to. That is the ticket, my friends. Let's see if we can add a couple notes of this half tone on other parts of the face. Actually, the chin. Actually, I'm going to do that. The whole chin is actually in a half tone. I'll show you how we can further describe this chin in a moment. 
Now let's do the corner of the forehead. Let's describe the form of the forehead. How do we do that? It's quite bright, right? And the value is quite bright. The paper is quite bright. What we need is the value of the highlight. And there it is, my friends. Of course, the shape of it is important. Its location. Notice that the edge of it is exactly at the corner that we want right here. And notice the value, how brilliantly now it separates whatever's here on this side closer to the light from not turning away from the light. And we can put another little nugget here on the nose. And a little, oh, I don't want to put, put one there. I'm going to put a little nugget of light at the lower eyelid, the top plane of the lower eyelid. I just want to see if I can get away with it. Yeah, and it's working. It is working. That is incredible. This is how you draw an eyelid, my friends. Look at that. Unbelievable. That little shelf. The eye is starting to form. Do you guys see the eye? That is incredible. So anyway, well, let, let me zoom in here. This is incredible. To me, it's incredible. <laughs> okay, let's zoom in real quick and examine. Look at the eye starting to feel like an eye just by putting that little nugget of value. And look at the forehead, the front side of the forehead, starting to separate from the side plane. Boom. Boom. You see that turn? Boom. That is what we're talking about here. And of course, it gets a little bit brighter over here. We can expand that a little bit brighter over here. Further feel. Like, oh, okay, it's not, it's not. Need just a little bit of a lighter value, or just like, actually a slightly darker value on the side here. Let's do one more the, uh, the jaw and the cash out of the mustache. And what we need is a slightly darker value. Okay, now I got a slightly darker value. What I'm going to do now, this is a little too dark, a little bit. I'm going to bring back the shadow shape of this uh, chin there. And also, now we have, we have a plane change happening within the half tone. We also carry that over to the eye. and start to transition or soften the turn here. So just uh, what I'm doing now is adding some of this dark half tone into the border of where the form meets the dark mass or the dark cash out in this case of the nose. And down here you can feel in the ear as well, a bit of a darker so we're just adding another value to describe another set of planes. And you could feel that um, the um, now looking at the chin, you can feel the cheek and the chin. You can feel light, side plane, and then mm, turn under. You feel that? Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Turn under. Boom, boom. Light side underneath, underplane, light side under. The eye, light, turn, turn under. Turn, turn under. And then let's do the collar real quick. It's just a cash shadow on a white piece of a very bright local colored object. Collar. You can see how nicely. And if we can put, I'm going to put one bright hotspot here. It's on the collar, the brightest piece is actually the collar. You can feel the brightness of that collar. So 
just by these big blocky shapes that we are studying from Solomon J. Solomon here, we can feel suggestion of form in the eyes, boxiness. We can feel that cylinder. We can feel the box of the cheek, which is really important, and also suggest uh, shadow detail here as well. Suggest form of the chin, suggest this thing, it's a mustache, something is blocking the chin. So it's a beautiful example of using value there to describe the form that we want.